Hey guys, John here. Today's pigments patch is called Organ of Glass. And conveniently, we have a stereo and a speed here, so we can increase the stereo or the speed of the sound here. Or if we don't want that effect at all, we can just remove the stereo macro. We can have it something like that if you want it a little less bright. We can do that as well. So yeah, let's get into it here. So let's go to our synth page, the utility engine. We're using the first one, the first noise and the sub oscillator. Let's turn that off. Engine number two, a sample. Let's turn that off. Let's keep wavetable number one on. And let's take a look at our effects. Let's turn these off. So let's dive into it here. So first things first here for our VCA envelope, it's gonna be one millisecond for attack, the decay 2.17 seconds, sustain 0.712, release is gonna be 277 milliseconds. The attack curve is zero, decay curve is 1.12. One and that's basically what we're getting right over here. So this wavetable is going to be gentle additives and it's going to be on building waves and kind of more, no, more so near the bottom, gentle additives. So double click that. And then we are going to be on the last wave form over here. So we can turn this position up all the way to the right at one. And we're going to be using a little bit of frequency modulation. This knob is going to be at 0.424. Now the tuning here is going to be at 48, and then it's going to be selected on ratio for the modulator tuning mode. We're going to be using two voices of unison, detune 1.50%, stereo 100, and this one's setting to filter number one, which is going to be the Jupiter 8, and we'll get to that in just a moment. And then to add to that kind of almost metallic-y, belly type of sound, we added a uh, sample here from the Vibraphone C3 or Vibraphone Z3. So this engine is going to be down one octave or 12 semitones, unison voices two, detune 1.50%, stereo one, and we're selecting granular. The density will be 25 hertz. This center knob is going to be unchanged, so skip over that. The size is gonna be 200 milliseconds. And this one's setting to filter number one as well. So nothing too crazy in this one. Now we go to our utility engine. Now for the first noise that we're gonna be using is called forest. As you notice, it sounds really nothing like a forest. And maybe we hear a bird in there, kind of. But really this is kind of just a nice transy, nice attack sound that I found for the pressing of the keys. Right, so it kind of goes well with a patch here. So this volume is gonna be at zero, or I guess negative 70 dB, so unaudible, inaudible, and it's gonna be modulated opening and closing by envelope number two, which is this guy, and the attack is gonna be one millisecond, decay 374 milliseconds, sustain zero, release 100, attack curve zero, decay curve minus 4.40, and triggered by the poly keyboard, because we want this to happen every time we hit a note. So with all those added together, it sounds something like this. Now we kind of really get that timbre of an organ by using these additive waves over here. Because if you ever used an additive synthesizer, you'll kind of know like the more that you add, the more of these bars and octaves and so on and so forth, the more it kind of sounds like an organ. But if you think about it, an organ's kind of like an analog synthesizer. Moving on from there, we have our effects over here. So this is kind of a lot here. So let's turn off auxiliary, FXB, and yeah. So yeah, we're just using one filter here. So back over here to the effects tab, the first thing that this is going to hit is a delay. 
And for this one, I kind of wanted these delays to be kind of all over the place, left and right, kind of a lot of stuff moving around. Now that's the first one. Now for this one, we're going to be using a one over eight uh, triplet. Kind of strange. For the fine, 0 0.105 milliseconds, feedback 0.225, stereo width 0.936, high pass 226 hertz, low pass 20K, and it's going to be on ping pong. The dry wet's going to be zero, but it's going to be modulated with effects by 0.41, so 41%. So a healthy amount of delay, which runs into another delay. And this one's going to be one over four, the find 0.273 milliseconds, feedback 0.416, the stereo width one. High pass is going to be 168 hertz, low pass 20K, also on ping pong. And the dry wet's going to be modulated at 20%. So both of these will sound like this. <laughs> So a lot going on, and then we went to hit that with a reverb, and it sounds like this. <laughs> right, it's kind of hard not to play that, right? So our reverb, that pre-delay is going to be 20 milliseconds, size 1, decay 0 0.460, stereo width 0 0.5, high pass 200, low pass 15K, damping is going to be 0 0.6. And then this is going to be quite a lot of reverb for this one at 0.49, so pretty much 50% just about. That is with this effects knob all the way to the right. Next up on the effects B, we're hitting it with a chorus, again, with this, this preset that I've fallen in love with the reverb like. So take a listen to how different the sounds with and without this uh, chorus preset here. Especially the tail. So take a listen to the tail without it. Now with. There's just something about this preset that I really like, but like I always say just in small doses here. So this is going to be 0.11, so 11% here. Not, and as I say before, I'm not going to read out these values because this is a preset. You can just load it up and it will be the same as it is here. Next up, these, this is the meat and potatoes of these two macros. This is going to be the stereo pan over here, right? So as we're playing this, that speed that we're hearing this here. So basically it's panning this left and right and left and right throughout the stereo field. And the stereo field here, as we can see, as we move this macro, it's going to move how wide that stereo field is going to be. Now if we put it all the way to the left, it's basically like it's off. All the way to the right is quite a healthy amount. And then the speed. We kind of get that sound of that organ of the rotor spinning. So the stereo here, like I said, is controlling this here, this amount right over here at an amount, that's kind of funny, of 0.66. And then the speed is controlling this rate here that is measured in hertz at about 0.37. So that's kind of the range here it has to go kind of from about the middle to the right over there. And this speed knob is set up pretty well to the point where it's it can go fast all the way to the top. But it's not going to go to a point where it just sounds unrealistic and like an LFO is kind of controlling that, you know? This is going to be a natural, mono bass, and, and invert are going to be off. And last but not least, we're kind of just hitting this with an EQ at the very end, more as a corrective EQ, and just cutting out that low end mud here, which is going to be 140 hertz for this case, and pulling out about 2.76 dB. So without it... Then with. Very subtle, but I kind of generally kind of like to pull a little bit around that area out just to kind of make space because it sounds a little bit muddy, not as clear, kind of like there's a blanket over it or something. And then we have an auxiliary sent here for some distortion. If we turn this on over here, we just have a soft clip. The drive is going to be 16.3 dB. The dry wet's going to be 100%. So a very subtle amount, and as we see, as we move this effects knob, this send here is getting automated or modulated from that as well. So that effects knob is also tied to this send right over here at, a, at an amount of 0.57. And 
And like I said before, if this organ or organ of glass is a little bit too bright for you, you can always pull back on this cut up here. Don't grab this one up here, but grab this macro over here, kind of change it here. And yeah, just in case I didn't talk about this here, this is controlled by the envelope number two, which is these settings, one millisecond, decay, three, seven, four milliseconds, sustain zero, release 100, attack curve is gonna be zero, decay curve negative 4.0. We're using a little bit of keyboard tracking for this one, 0.492, and the resonance is gonna be 0.368 on the Jupiter 8 filter here at a low pass 24. <laughs> And turning this cutoff down can almost make it sound kind of mysterious. Almost woods or something kind of like that, or... So kind of an interesting patch here, and uh, like I always say, if you'd like to get this patch for free, there's a link in the video description below, and it can be yours. Hopefully you learned something, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.